stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Hi, David Bourne here with Zach's Investment Research, giving you my top stock pick of the week. Uh, I was excited this week to see that Apple, one of my favorite companies, well, frankly, ever, was a Zach's rank number one. Apple doesn't often get to number one uh, because the ranking is based on the acceleration of upwards earnings estimates. And Apple's earnings estimates are uh, so stable and rise so slowly that it often doesn't quite get to that top spot. Uh, but recently, we've seen some upward revisions, uh, and that puts Apple right in that number one ranking. Now, Apple's the original sort of ecosystem stock, uh, by which I mean that once you get into the Apple ecosystem, you buy an Apple product, generally a piece of hardware to begin with, it makes you want to buy more Apple products. So the people that have purchased a phone, a tablet, a computer, end up buying another piece of hardware or maybe an accessory like some headphones or a monitor or something else to go with it. Uh, and then they're going to buy some apps, some content. They're going to stay in that ecosystem and they're going to keep spending money. And importantly, once you get down into the Apple services business, those the products that they're buying become higher margin products. All right, so they first they sell you a phone, uh, then you start to buy services, you buy songs, you buy video entertainment, and they make a uh, much higher margin on the next purchases that you make than even the original ones. Now, Apple's managed to keep their product lineup so fresh, so desirable, uh, that even 20 years into when people really started warming up to Apple as a consumer electronics product, people are still lining up around the block for new product releases. They want the newest, latest Apple piece of hardware. Now, recently, Apple turned in a big earnings beat. Uh, revenue is up 64%. Uh, that's 66 in the iPhone, 70 in the Mac, uh, and 78 in the iPad. And importantly, the gross margins went up too. Apple is sourcing more parts by themselves, especially the M1 chip. Uh, and this is going to be important in an environment where we have a potential chip shortage coming up. Apple's not in the queue with everyone else uh, for the Intel chips or the, the AMD chips or what everyone else needs to, to buy. Uh, Apple is sourcing their own chips. They don't manufacture them themselves, uh, but they do uh, swing a, a pretty big stick when it comes to deciding who gets their chips when. Uh, so that, that's going to be a big advantage going forward. Now, if we take a look at Apple's price chart, prices barely moved this year. Apple's up less than a percent. Uh, in terms of share price, while the S&P is up more than 13%. Uh, so I believe that's a big opportunity. Now, it's been argued that Apple was getting pretty expensive on a price-to-earnings basis. Uh, we saw north of 30x in terms of a, a forward PE multiple. Uh, and I can agree that that is getting pretty rich. But now if we swing over to the earnings estimates, we see that in just the last week, the earnings estimates for the full year have come up roughly 10%. That takes the Apple forward PE from 30, maybe a little frothy, all the way down to 27 because the stock price really hasn't moved. That's a big opportunity. Uh, I think that there is a, a, a continuing story in the markets that Apple just came a little too far too fast in terms of share price, got well over the $2 trillion mark, uh, and now the earnings need to catch up. Well, if you needed evidence of that, this week is your evidence. The earnings have caught up, or at least the estimates have. Uh, and they're, they're, every sign is that Apple is still firing on all cylinders, easily going to keep beating earnings estimates and keep growing that share price, possibly becoming the first $3 trillion company. So for all those reasons, that's my Apple top stock pick of the week. It was an easy one this time. Now over to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Dave. I'm Jeremy Mullen here today with my pick, which is Chewy.com. Symbol C-H-W-Y. The company has its axe ranked number two buy and operates as an online pet retailer. The website, Chewy.com, offers all sorts of pet products like food, toys, treats, vitamins, and medications for your pets. The Florida-based company was founded in 2010 and employs over 18,000 people. The stock was one of the hottest in 2020 as COVID forced pet owners to order online as they stayed away from their local pet store. With the pandemic coming to an end, the stock dropped over 30% from recent highs as investors are uncertain that the tailwinds from last year will continue this year and next. However, recent earnings show continued strength and the stock is holding technical support level that gives investors a good risk reward setup. We'll look at that chart in a minute, but first let's go over the recent earnings. In late March, Chewy reported earnings beat of 155% for Q4. Revenues came in above expectations and the company guided Q1 higher. 
the company saw most of the positive trends from 2020 carry over into the new year. Customer acquisition uh, and spending trends remain strong, which helped Chewy guide uh, fiscal year 21 revenues at $8.85 billion to $8.95 billion versus the $8.9 billion expected. So right in the middle of the expected range there. Uh, the pandemic helped Chewy grow net sales by 47% year over year and increased customer base 43% year over year. So the question is if this momentum can continue. A recent note from Jeffrey said they believe it can. The analyst sees revenue growth at 30% year over year and hiked estimates. The firm has a $105 price target and joined a handful of other firms that lifted targets after the impressive quarter. Guggenheim was actually out this morning and started coverage with a $95 price target. The firm sees six reasons why Chewy is positioned for outperformance. One, a large, fast-growing addressable market end market augmented by annuity-like end demand. Two, a leading industry position strengthened by technology and innovation. Three, significant new and existing customer opportunities supported by extremely high levels of customer loyalty. Four, an impact, um, impactful product expansion opportunities. Five, global expansion potential with proven profitable operating model. And finally, six, an improving ROIC profile with several potential margin unlocks. Okay, let's look at some fundamentals and then we'll get to that chart. Chewy is valued about $33 billion and has a monster forward PE of 470. The company holds a Zach style score of A in growth, but F in both value and momentum. So obvious issue for investors is that value and if the company can grow into this high valuation. The recent quarter is helping estimates higher. Over the last 60 days, next quarter's estimates have gone from a loss of $0.03 cents to a gain of $0.02. Cents. Additionally, the current year has ticked up from a loss of $0.08 cents to a gain of $0.17. Cents. The hope for investors going forward is that customers from the previous year stick around and the company can continue to draw new pet owners into the website. There are some short sellers out there who don't believe this can happen and are betting against the stock. Almost a 20% of the flow is short, which means if we do see a positive catalyst like Guggenheim talked about, a short squeeze could lift the stock up quickly. Okay, now let's look at the chart. Okay, here is a look at the chart for Chewy since uh, last June, so shortly after the pandemic. And you can see we had a nice steady grind. All of these squiggly lines are the 200-day moving average. So we have the red or the moving averages. So the red is the 200-day, the blue is the 50, and the green is the 21, which I use for momentum. So you can see that 50 and the 21 held up um, for the better part of last year. And this year we had the pandemic kind of realization coming to an end. So uh, the 21 and 50 broke, and we kind of had a drop in price. Okay, but this 200 day has held support, continues to hold support. So we're looking good. We'll probably see some consolidation in here before investors decide which way they want to push this stock. Now, I like to look at the Fibonacci levels. So let's look at that next. Um, if we draw from lows to highs, we have this macro fib come into play, which gives us a halfway back right around where we're seeing support and a 61.8% slightly below the 200-day uh, moving average. So you can see the $70 level would be the 61.8%, which if it holds is a very bullish sign. So also I'd like to point out the previous resistance, 70, 70, 70 could offer this support. So what we could see happen is if we get a market sell off, is this 200-day could break. We dip down to 70, offer support. We go back over the 200-day, consolidate in here, break this 50-day and longer term, my targets are going to be up here around 140. So uh, that's one scenario to, to break down and dip. If the market continues on its recent toward up move, we could break this 50 day and perhaps the $90 level, if we get above that, we could accelerate and then longer term, I would once again look for this 140 level. So that's what the chart's looking like, looking pretty bullish with maybe some short term bearishness, but just keep a watch on this 200 day, keep a watch on this. 61.8% uh, level at the uh, $70 area and watch for this 50 break and the $90 uh, dollar upside. Okay, that's it for me and Chewy, ticker symbol CHWI. Check out Zax.com slash promo for Zax Investors Collection, which is available for $1. That's it for me and Dave in the Top Stock Pick segment. Have a great day.